Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Square with uh, QuickBooks. First things first, we have to log in to our account or uh, square.com or squareup.com or create one if you don't have one already. Uh, as you can see, uh, we click on apps on the left side of our, of our workspace like this and we are at application that we can integrate uh, there are some recommended for us and once you want to explore more click on visit marketplace and search for apps we are interested in uh, quickbooks so we can search for quickbooks quickbooks online and now you can see you can connect it for free and basically what you want to do is just click on get started and get up app now uh, that's basically how you can manage to make this application work or integration work or we can use automate.eo it's faster way uh, i will leave the link in the description underneath this video uh, once we are at automate.eo, we want to go to integration to the top corner of our screen and uh, go bottom left part of this pop-up window and click on see all categories. Once we are here, we want to click and start uh, writing down QuickBooks. Once we found QuickBooks, now we want to pick the uh, counterpart. Well, actually, I made a mistake. We want to start with square. I'm sorry. Once we start with Square, the counterpart will be QuickBooks. Once we, do, uh, once we did that, as you can see, there's some popular integration between those two. But if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down and you'll explore this option of create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with Square. There are two options to pick from. So let's start with the first one. And on the other hand, underneath the actions, you want to go with QuickBooks. As you can see, there's a tons of options. But also, let's we'll start with one. Once we hit on Try It Now button, we'll get redirected and asked to sign into our account at uh, automate.eo. And we are a few clicks away from finishing this uh, integration. We can also use zapier.com, uh, where we also need to create an account. Once we do that, let's go to the top left corner and press create SAP. Like this. And it works basically the same way as it worked at, uh, at Automate. We have to start with a trigger. The trigger will be square. One of the two options of trigger event. Now we have to log into the account that we created before. Setting up a trigger uh, will be the name of your com uh, company, continue. And now we can test the trigger or jump straight to the second action, which will be QuickBooks. QuickBooks online. Action event, also one of many. Continue. And now the last thing, connect to the account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.